Greetings everyone, and I apologize as this particular video is way overdue. Sadly, university midterms and the PlayStation 3's yellow death have made it impossible for me to record the necessary footage for this video. But now, midterms are over and I got myself a new PS3, so let's get right into it. For those not in the know, Tales Symphonia Chronicles comes packaged with graphically enhanced versions of the PlayStation 2 port of Tales Symphonia and the PAL version of Tales Symphonia Dawn of the New World. I'll get into why these versions of the games were ported in a minute. First, I need to clarify the purpose of this video. This is not a review of either game, as I have already reviewed both these games. So if you're looking for my opinion on the actual content of these titles, such as story, gameplay, and whatnot, check out my actual reviews here. This video will be a reviewish evaluation on the actual differences and worth of this HD port, and whether or not I think it's worth picking up over the original versions. So how does this port stack up to the originals? Let's find out. I'll start by going over Tales Symphonia HD, which as I said earlier is based off the PlayStation 2 port, not the GameCube version. So as such, this version has all the exclusive content of that version, like additional scenes and side quests, new animated cutscenes, which look great in HD, and some new arts and costumes for party members among other additions, and a fixed camera for multiplayer, which is a godsend. Visually, it's no surprise that this version does look better than both the GameCube and PlayStation 2 versions. It's not necessarily drastically different, but it's definitely an improvement as character models, towns, environments, menus, and even the text itself looks much improved. But having said that, I can say that not all character models were given the same treatment, and most characters that are really not plot relevant kinda look subpar. As well, the overworld does not really seem to have improved graphically. Aside from the graphics, another aspect of this port that will please fans is that both games include both English and Japanese voiceovers. This is the first time a Tales game has included both dubs, which is something I hope future releases will include. What's really great about the option of changing languages is that the Japanese option has fully voiced skits, something that the English one lacks. So in terms of additional content, better graphics, and the option of language, Symphonia Chronicles is basically the definitive version of the game. But there is one problem I have with this port. As I've mentioned a couple times now, this port is based off the PlayStation 2 version, in which the battle's frame rate is capped at 30. The GameCube version's battle system runs at a 60 frames per second. For someone like me who has played through the GameCube version many times, this reduced frame rate took some getting used to and made the battles feel slower or a bit more sluggish. But I think this problem only really applies to those of us who are used to the original release. If this is your first time playing Symphonia, I don't think you'll really notice it. But it is something to keep in mind, and as such, it makes it a little difficult for me to call Tales of Symphonia Chronicles the definitive version of this game. Regardless, I still think this version is still worth picking up whether you've played the original dozens of times or you've just gotten into the Tales series. I believe Tales Symphonia HD is worth playing for anyone who's either experienced this before or who hasn't. Now, let's talk about the other game included in this collection, Dawn of the New World. It's pretty obvious that Tales of Symphonia received a lot more care in the transition to the PlayStation 3 than Dawn of the New World. Even most mainstream reviews of Tales of Symphonia Chronicles only dedicate a line or two to talk about Dawn of the New World. The reason why is that not much has really changed. Honestly, the graphics are pretty much the same as the Wii version. Obviously, being optimized for HD television, the game does look sharper and brighter. However, past that, the game remains pretty much unchanged visually. Like Tales of Symphonia HD, the game includes the Japanese voice acting, which in my opinion is a real treat and makes some of the less likable characters, like Emil, much more bearable to watch. Some other additions that come from the PAL version of the original Wii game is some accessories which can slightly change character appearances and a gallery mode, but nothing has changed for the core game outside of those. Well, actually the controls have been changed. The original game can only be played via Wiimote and Nunchuck combo. Now we can use a controller, and for the most part, this game plays a lot more comfortably on a DualShock 3. Having said that, there are some strange annoyances from the original that return here. Those being that the block and free running share the same button, which is really odd and both those functions could have easily been mapped to different buttons. In fact, not all the buttons are even in use, which kind of screams lazy port job. As well, the Wii version had various motion based controls for using the Sorcerer's Ring and various pointless minigames, which are now mapped to R1 and moving the analog stick, which feels unnatural to say at the least. 
So overall, I can say that Dawn of the New World HD is for the most part a better experience on the PlayStation 3, but it could have been much more. It suffers from a lazy port job, so for those that already own the game, I can't really say there's much incentive to have this version unless you really want the option of listening to the Japanese audio. Luckily, if you're only interested in one of the games packaged with Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, you may want to consider going the digital route, as you can buy either Tales of Symphonia HD or Dawn of the New World HD separately on the PlayStation Network for $19.99 each. So in conclusion, if you haven't played either of these games, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles is a great option for experiencing them. You get a lot of bang for your buck, and it's pretty much cheaper to buy this than going out and buying the original version separately. But like I said before, the game that really got all the attention is Tales of Symphonia. It has a lot of additional content and bonuses, and it's still a damn good game. While I'm not crazy about Dawn of the New World, I do like the controls better than the Wii version, and the inclusion of the Japanese audio makes the game a lot more enjoyable. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully you get a good idea of what you're getting into here. As always, it's been Darren of the Gaming Pilgrimage. Till next time.